I'm Renee Merrill, the creator of Free Motion Mastery in a Month, the simple step-by-step -step learning system for machine quilting success. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to one of my favorite tools. They're simple, they're super effective, they're grippy pads. Stay with me and find out all the wonderful ways that I put these to good quilting use. Grippy pads are little pieces of waffle style shelf liner that I simply cut to the size and shape I need. You might already have some of this stuff laying around your house, but if you don't, it's easy to find it at any place that carries kitchen goods or hardware. One of the first exercises in the Free Motion Mastery in a Month system is using the Master Trainer tool to trace designs on a tracing sheet. But with nothing to hold the tracing sheet still, it can sort of scoot around while I'm trying to move the trainer over it. So I put the grippy pads underneath my tracing sheet as a non-skid tread. And then when I use my tracing tool, they stay, the tracing sheet stays put while my tracing tool moves around. Use number two for my grippy pads is probably my favorite one. I use them instead of gloves so that while I'm quilting, I can get a light, firm grip on my fabric. To make these even more useful, simply take the grippy pad, fold it in half, and cut a slit about three rows down from the top, about halfway across the pad. This gives you a slot that your fingers can go into, and then even when you want to pick up your hands and move them, the grippy pad stays with you. Use number three for your grippy pads is to anchor your rulers. So when you're doing ruler work, put a grippy pad over the fabric and then your ruler over the fabric and the grippy pad keeps your fabric against your ruler um, so that when you're moving the fabric in a domestic machine or when you're moving your sewing machine um, with a long arm machine, your ruler stays um, put and doesn't move around. Um, just a little caveat here. I'm not at my home machine today and I don't have a real ruler foot, so um, don't do ruler work without a ruler foot. But do use grippy pads when you use your rulers. And one of the really nice things about grippy pads is that you can cut them to shapes to fit any ruler that you have in your collection. So there you have it, my three favorite uses for grippy pads. I like grippy pads a lot because my hands stay cool, because I don't have to take them off to do other things at the sewing machine. And because if I lose one, I always have another one nearby. Give them a try and see how you like them. And if you'd like to learn more about Free Motion Mastery in a Month, click on the link below this box. Thanks for watching and happy quilting.